too much for him. He started un unwinding, unfolding. Yeah, definitely. Cheers, mate. Feels so good. <laughs> and it's a desperado. That's great. Oh. It looks good. It looks wet. So, um, oh mate, honestly. How does this? He made a lot of money out of that fight. In fact, David should have a picture of me and Tony in his room, or his living room. And every morning when he walks down for his cup of, you know, because he's like, he likes all that, like maybe a, a green shake or a herbal tea, he should go, morning Edward, morning Anthony. Like that, and just sort of give us a little wave. <laughs> Fraser, any questions for Mr. David Hay? David. I saw some quotes that he wants seven million. Yeah, but I mean, I want an 11 inch penis. It's not going to happen. <laughs> Offered him three million dollars. You're right. I mean, look, I know this guy. How you doing, mate? Hey, nice to meet you. I've never met you before, right? No, no, my name's Jerry. Do you know who Deontay Wilder is? No, who's that? Okay, no. okay, no problem. That was just a quiz we were playing. Oh, Thank okay. you, bro. <laughs> Thanks, take care. That's a classic example. You know what I mean? <laughs> we can do it all day long, and I don't think anyone's well, there. I'll do one more. Okay, well, let's excuse here. me, excuse me. Just a, have you, do you know, do you know who Deontay Wilder is? Deon who? Deontay Wilder? An NFL player? No, not quite, but good effort. Thank you, sir. Have a great day. So here we are. You know, we're, we're out on the streets in New York, and it's quite simple. You know, this is the problem. My best bit of advice for Anthony Yard is next Wednesday, there is a purse bid at the British Boxing Board of Control. For both those fights? Yes. No, we'll, we're going to do a deal for Buglioni against Callum Johnson, so that won't go to purse yeah. bids. Anthony Yard against Jose Bert. What have you got to lose? Let it go to purse bids. I'm gonna bid big. Frankie, baby, is gonna bid mega, right? Well, especially because you weren't on apparently allowed in. You know what I mean? Yeah. On did you buy? Did you buy the pay per view? I went around the moves house, but I bought the pay per view anyway. No, but you still bought it at home. I bought it at home. Oh, thank you. That was a good. That was one of the good things about you not coming. Right. I bought it anyway. Oh yeah, true. You did, but, yeah. right? Um, I bought it three times. Yes, 90,000 people strong. I'd say a good 88,000 of them were, uh, were booing you, weren't they? Mm. So, uh, I saw your interview with Frank Warren yesterday and you said, uh, Frank, have you ever been booed by 90,000 people? What a stupid question that was. Geezer ain't sold more than 5,000 tickets for a show in about 15 years. So if he's going to get booed by 90,000 people... <laughs> did, it, um, did it make you feel a bit... Do you know what? You put this event on... Obviously, I'll be honest with you, but a lot of people say, did that affect you? How did you feel? And the answer was, at the time, completely numb. All I could think about was one of the best fights I've ever seen. All I could think about was AJ's done it, he's unified the division. My mum was devastated. She cut, why are they booing you? Don't they realise the work you've put into this show, how hard you work? Typical boxing fans, yeah. I'd say they, they, they work, when you're on the way up, they love you. Mm. When you're at the top, you just box, mm. British boxing fans, they hate you. She said that, my mum. My wife, I think, secretly loved it. And uh, my dad said, son, you've absolutely cracked it now. They're booing you. That's, That's what true. he said. So, you know, I'm, I think... You've got two good guys in the ring now. And someone sent me a link of Mick Hennessy's interview. And I did watch some of, of that. Yeah. Press conference, it was... Um, it's a bit like, you know when you tune into UK Gold and like you watch an old episode of Neighbours from the 90s? It's a bit like that. Like, Frank Warren was like wearing Harold Bishop's whistle. Um, Hennessy was in like some moody Lacoste top that was tucked into a suit. And the backdrop looked like it was designed by my six-year-old daughter. But, you know, listen, there's levels and they're levels. You know, there's Champions League and there's Ryman's League. So, um, you know, and actually, it's, it's... People talk about the look and the feel, the product. Everything's translated from 
from the look, from the press conferences, from the backdrops, all the way through to the event. So you see us, we're a million dollars all the time. You go to our shows, everything, the production, the music, the lighting, every, it's, it's the real deal. And then you, you know, see those press conferences, it just translates all the way through. Um, I saw Mick Hennessy's interview, fucking hell. These people, they hate me. They absolutely hate me. Um, he called me, I think, an arsehole or, I don't know, old Silver Spoon Boy. But the fact is, this Silver Spoon Boy is tonking him all over the gap. I mean, like, you want to give me stick about being a, a, a Silver Spoon Boy, but I'm running circles around you, everybody. So you can't be that great. Um, oh, the things I'll be like, that's outrageous. Like, she, she got some plants done in the garden. Do you know how much flowers are? I couldn't believe it. I said it. She went, oh, you don't mind buying a soup for a couple of grand? I said, yeah, but it's a soup. So certain things, are exp uh, certain things I'll spend the money on, and other things I'll be tight as a as a. And you don't hold back with your mothers, do you? No, cars, suits, watches, luggage. <laughs> luggage? Pants. Yeah? Pants. Dave Allen spent £30 on his pants. That's what, yeah. I've 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 spent I've spent about forty quid or even fifty quid on a pair of pants. What makes that? Hanro, Zimmerly, Derek Rose. That's little little things like that are, are quite important to me. Would you spend fifty quid on a pair of socks? Probably not. But I, socks again are quite important. I would spend thirty. I'm not sure I could do 30 quid on a pair of socks. I think I could I could do 20 quid on a pair, 25. What, on one pair of socks? Yeah. Which are the same as buying like... They're not though, Coop. They're not, they're not, they're just not. And this goes back because to... Because you've told yourself back. this, but they no, are actually... No, they're not, they're not. Ed, when they're you're not. putting on socks... No. Right, unless you're getting don't, don't you ever of... get that feeling when you put something on? Because that's why I like suits. When I put a suit on, and then shoes again, this is quite important, and you, you sort of think, oh, that feels the bollocks. That yeah, does. that does. But when do you put a pair of socks on and think, fucking hell, 40 quid for a pair of socks, have it, fam. <laughs> no, but sometimes you put on a pair of socks and you go, oh, they're, oh, nice. they're nice. Yeah, they're nice, but... But what we're saying is, how much is that feeling of, oh, they're nice? How, what sort of value is that? Is it 40 quid? Is it 20 quid? It's a bit like a Ruby, isn't it? A Ruby Murray. You go in there and you that moment, you know when you get the nom, Frank Smith. <laughs> Hello? How are you getting on? Yeah, I'm not going to make Nando's. Alright, no worries. See you at the venue. See you there. Alright. What, we're not making fucking Nando's? We will, but not with Frank Smith. Oh. In his 900 pound Leboutons. Um, it's like having a curry. You know that moment when you get the naan bread and you dip it in the madras? Oh, that, that first little bit. My mouth's watering telling you the story. How much is that worth? Because generally it's only eight or nine quid, isn't it? Generally. So if you get a really good one, a bit like a pizza, it's a pound a slice. But when you get a really good pizza, how much would you pay for that slice? Do you eat caviar? No. <laughs> what do you think I am? <laughs> someone, someone tweeted me the other day like, it was just, it was a random thing and it was like, you're an arsehole, Hearn. Just a prick of a man or something like that. I went, that was a bit harsh. I nearly choked on my caviar. And he went, see, you're arsehole. Or something like that. What about, no, I have tried caviar, but it's not what really What about nothing. a meal? Say you're in the missus, what is the Well, month? this is another thing. In New York, I went out for a meal. Actually, no, I've got room service. See, this is where I go back to thinking like my mum. Because I've got room service, so, Mate, who is going to watch this interview, by the way? <laughs> Loads of people. Right, okay. Right. right, listen, if you've watched the end of got to this point in the interview... I'm sorry. Hashtag Fanta Punch. <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> no, no, yes. don't. Hashtag Fanta Punch. Because you might find it. Right, and she want to cut. But, so we're in New York, right? Nice hotel. I'm there, my missus, my two daughters. So we have, I have a hamburger with chips. My missus has a club sandwich. And my two daughters have hot dog and chips. They have two pineapple juices. We have a large bottle of water that we share. We've got a cheesecake coming after and we've got a little bit of ice cream on the side. The bread, I hope, is complimentary. How much 
is that? Under quid. Two hundred and thirty dollars, which is a hundred and eighty quid. So anyway, comes up and I'm like this. I've got the bill. Now, that's one thing. They put the service charge on top, so you don't have any choice, right? You've got to pay 18, 20 percent. You do have a choice. Now I can take well, okay, yeah, to, but that's not. Yeah. Want it to be a break, yeah. And they charge you an admin stroke tray fee of eight dollars, right? So I've signed it, and I'm sort of sitting there. Now I've got the ump, right? Now this is again, my missus. You know, you don't mind spending a couple of grand on a suit, yet you won't spend 150 quid on your kids. Yeah, but it's not. It's, Am I getting value? That is the wrong price, isn't it? How can it be the right price? It's two hot dogs and chips, a club sandwich and a hamburger for 180 quid. Anyway, it really put me off my hamburger. I still ate it, which might surprise some.